In this video, we will look at solving what are called consecutive integer problems. What consecutive numbers are, are numbers that are one after the other. For example, the numbers 5, 6, 7, and 8 are consecutive integers, one right after the other. To set up a problem with consecutive integers, it is important to clearly state how we will represent the first, second, and third integer. Often, we don't know what the first integer is, so we will use the letter x. The space between two consecutive integers is one number. So we will get the next integer by adding one to the previous, x plus one. To get the third integer, we simply add another one. Now it is x plus two. Representing the numbers in this way will allow us to solve the problem and answer the question. Let's look at an example where we can use this strategy. Here we are asked to find three consecutive numbers whose sum is 543. We will represent the first, second, and third number exactly as we stated previously. We don't know what the first is. This will be the letter x. The second has a space of one, so we will add one and add another one or two for the third. Here, we are told that their sum is 543. Sum means we will add these three to no together and that is or equals 543. Fortunately, our like terms are already lined up. Let's combine them. 3x plus 2 plus 1 is 3. This now gives me an equation I can solve to find my integers. Balancing through the equal sign, we subtract 3 from both sides. 3x equals 540. Dividing both sides by 3, will give me that x equals 180. Recall that we said x was the first number, 180. By adding 1 to this, we get the next number, 181. By adding 2, we get 180 plus 2, or 182. These are the three consecutive numbers whose sum is 543. Let's try another example. Here, the three consecutive integers add, or whose sum, is negative 222. Notice this time we have four integers, first, second, third, and fourth, just using the first letter as we label them. Again, we don't know the first integer, that is x. The next we find by adding one, then adding two, and continuing the pattern, we add three. Here, we know the sum is two, negative 222. Sum means we add, and that will equal negative 222. Combining like terms gives us 4x plus 6. We can quickly solve this equation by first subtracting 6 from both sides. 4x equals negative 228. We get x alone by dividing both sides by 4. As we do, x is equal to negative 57. This is our first number, negative 57. Counting up, Towards the positive zero, we have negative 56, negative 55, and finally, negative 54. You will notice when we add these four numbers together, we end up with our sum of negative 222.